Today in the Brick Lab, we're going to be taking a look at a custom Lego Ninjago movie Misako minifigure. So the Misako minifigure is actually pretty easy to make. The torso that the main Misako minifigure, the one from the Ninjago City set, uses is actually pretty common and is used in a lot of Lego City sets. Now the hair piece is a little bit less common. It's used in the Cave Woman from Minifigure Series 5 and the Ann Lee minifigure from the Monster Hunters line. Now if you don't have the hair piece, you could always swap it out for a similar hair piece like say Ronan's hair or even the Barbara Gordon hair piece. I mean it's the wrong color but hey it has a similar look but whichever you prefer. The face I settled on is also a lot less common. It's the face from Sharon Shoehorn from the Lego movie Castle Cavalry set. Um, if you don't have it you could always swap it out for the Lego City face of your choice like say for example this plain generic smiling one here. Basically any female city face will do. Although I would like to point out that the Sharon Shoehorn face does have this hilarious scared expression, which is probably what Misako would wear if she ever ran into Galore Garmadon while he was terrorizing Ninjago City. I mean, running into your ex is bad, but while he's leveling a city? Even worse. Although Wild Style's face from the Lego movie would also probably work pretty well. Now for the pan now for the pants, of course, they're just plain brown pants, nothing too special. So let's move on to the other version, the Ninjago City Museum version of Misako. So the collectible minifigure version of Misako shows her with a bright smile headed off to work at, well, wherever she works. I think it's the Ninjago City Museum, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Anyway, so my version is this one here, and it features the same hairpiece that I used in the other version, as well as this generic, widely smiling city face. I mean, I find it kind of creepy, but it sort of, the smile matches the look that the collectible minifigure version has. And I used just a standard city businesswoman gray torso and gray pants to match. I didn't really have a sand green businesswoman suit, or even a plain sand green suit for that matter. Or you can just stick with the other version of Misako, since I like, I prefer that version to this one. And of course, instead of a handbag, which I don't have, I just gave her the standard brown briefcase, which I think suits just as well. Of course, she kind of looks like a plain Lego City businesswoman, but hey, uh, it was the best I could do on such short notice. Anyway, that wraps up our look at the Lego Ninjago custom Misako minifigure, or Coco as I guess I should be calling her now. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And if there are other custom minifigures you'd like to see me make, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will see what I can do. In the meantime, stay subscribed. I'm Sam and I'll see you next time.